Today is Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Purple is the color of kings and queens. No one could wear purple in those days except royal people. Roman citizens could wear a little stripe of purple, but that was all. Purple is a serious color, and something serious is about to happen. A king is coming, but the king who is coming is not the kind of king that people thought was coming. This king had no army, no great house, and no riches. This king was a baby who was born in a manger. The king who was coming is still coming, but that is a mystery. You know, a mystery is hard to enter sometimes. That is why this time of Advent is so important. Sometimes people can walk right through a mystery and not even know it is there. This time of year, you will see people hurrying in the malls, buying things and doing this and that, but they will miss the mystery. They don't know how to get ready or they did not take the time to get ready. The church learned a long time ago that people need a way to get ready to enter or even come close to a mystery like Christmas. The church set aside four weeks to get ready. Let's continue on our journey with the prophets, the holy family, the shepherds, the angels, the magi, and all the rest. Let's continue on our journey that was not just back then, but is also now. On the first week of Advent, we remembered the prophets. They were the only ones who knew that someone was coming who was so different that they would make everything else different. The prophets pointed the way to Bethlehem. Prophets are the people who know the most important things. They know which way to go. They are the ones who showed us the way. This is the light of the prophets. Let's enjoy the light. On the second week in Advent, we remembered the Holy Family. This is the Mother Mary and the Father Joseph and the donkey. Mary was about to have a baby it is very hard to walk when you're about to have a baby. So sometimes she couldn't take another step and it was then that she rode on the donkey. But it is also hard to ride on a donkey when you're very pregnant. So sometimes she would walk. She would ride and she would walk. She would ride and she would walk. They must have been the last ones coming up the road to Bethlehem that night. Here is the Mother Mary. And here is the Father Joseph. And here is the donkey. This is the light for the Holy Family. Let's enjoy the light. On the third week, in Advent, we remembered the shepherds who were standing in the fields around Bethlehem, watching their sheep, keeping awake so that the wolf could not come and get them. When suddenly 
There was so much light in the sky that it hurt their eyes. They were afraid. Their hearts were beating so loudly. When they could hear something besides their own hearts, they thought they heard singing in the sky. That also scared them until they heard the words of the song. The angels were singing, don't be afraid. The angels said something like this. Don't be afraid. We bring you tidings of great joy, peace on earth and goodwill to everyone. A child is born. Go, hurry, run to Bethlehem to see the child who will change everything. Something changed this week. Something looks different. This week, the color on our underlay was the color of roses. This was to remind us of the great joy the angels sang of. It was also to help us to remember that even though it is very serious to get ready to come close to a mystery like Christmas, it is also a time of great celebration. We also remember the mother Mary when we see this color. For without the mother Mary, there would be no baby. This is the light of the shepherds. Let's enjoy the light. On the fourth Sunday in Advent, we remember the three kings. These are the Magi, the wise men. They came from far in the east. They were so wise that people thought they were magic. In fact, we get our word magic from the name they were called in their own language, the Magi. Of all the things they knew, they knew the most about the stars. They knew where the stars were supposed to be at each time of year so that they could tell people when it was time to plant their crops or take a trip on the ocean in a boat or across the high mountain passes when the snow wasn't too deep. When they saw the wild star they had never seen before, they wanted to see where it would lead them and what it wanted to show them. They followed the star all the way to Bethlehem. But they came from so far away that they got there late. They are always late. Every year, we usually celebrate them on January 6th, but we remember them on the fourth week of Advent because they too were on the journey to Bethlehem. Here were the shepherds, or the shepherd with his sheep, and here the Magi. And this is their light. And now everything has changed. White is the color of pure celebration. We have arrived in Bethlehem, and here is the Christ child. The baby who was born. The word of God was born a wordless child. The mother Mary gave birth to and held the baby who was the God who cared for her and still cares for us. This is the mystery of Christmas. 
This is amazing. Of all the creatures who have been amazed by this, perhaps the one most mystified was the old cow. When the old cow came up to the feed box in the morning to eat some straw, there was a baby lying in the manger. The feed box had been turned into a bed for the baby. All the cow could do was wonder with us too about the Christ child. Wait, something is missing. Yes, it is the light of Christ. Today on Christmas morning, we light the light of Christ. Let's enjoy the light. Now, let's change the light so that it's not just in one place, but that it so that it is in every place. We will start with the prophets. Here, they are in one place. But once we change this light, they are in every place. This is the light of the Holy Family. Right now, the light is in one place at one point in time. But once we change it, The Holy Family is in every place, so we can feel them close to us, along with the prophets, even now. Here is the light of the shepherds. Here it is in one place, but let's change it. Now when we travel to Bethlehem during the season of Advent, they too are with us. And the Magi, here, their light is in one place, but when we change it, their light fills the room so that we too can come close to them. And finally, here is the light of Christ, which was in one place, in one time, a long, long time ago, a baby born in a manger. God came to us in a child, but he is not just in that place. Christ is in every place with us now and forever. Merry Christmas.